little ear to my plea. Lend a ray of cheer to my plea. Now, what do you want to know, Chris? In search of Crosby. In search of Crosby. Did your father tell you he was a ladies' man? Oh, I shouldn't have done that, huh? It wasn't my fault as much as thine. Well, then this one's on me. This one's on me. I mean, I wish every American was like Bing, you know. This would be a better country, wouldn't it? We're not being filmed. Yet. After about a week, Phil had found out that uh, Bing was not tipping the black man who was taking care of their golf clubs and their shining their shoes and the whole bit. Should you wander to China, I would hop an ocean liner just to be And he with said to this man, he said, uh, doesn't Mr. Crosby ever tip you? And the attendant said, Mr. Harris, he said, I would never accept a tip from Bing Crosby. He's sending my son through school. I always felt that it was Bing Crosby and then all the other singers. He was beginning to find out that he couldn't just be a band singer anymore. He was now, he belonged to the world. Who are you? Well, you see, my name is Crosby. Oh, I suppose you're going to tell us you're Bing Crosby. Oh, well, yes, yes, that's me, Bing Crosby. Find me somebody in the outer reaches of Tanganyika who's never heard of Bing. Bing! You just have to say the name Bing and they know what you're talking about. And now we don't have any money to build a stack except what you put in, what your friends have put in. Thank you very much. They told me there was a profit in these places. You're dealing with long shot hardy man. Oh. <laughs> he was about as nice a friend as you could get. If he didn't like you, that was it for life. He was that way. I wanted to know who Bing was and why he operated certain ways. Because a couple of times he, he, we rubbed each other the wrong way. I would love to have been Bing's best friend. Unfortunately, uh, I wasn't. And somebody over there asked him, said, who would you say is your best friend? And he said, Phil Harris. Bub, 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 like this, and bub, 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 bub. And he'd practice it, and he'd stumble a little, and I'd say, no, just relax a little more, you know. Here am I teaching the guy how to do himself. It's, it's, it's mind-boggling, but it did happen. But it shows you more that this is a human being, that this is a guy that was rather afraid of his position. And in this business, you're rejected every five minutes. You really are. As far as I'm concerned, the Bing Crosby that everybody knows and loves, has been the wonderful man and the entertainer and all that, it's all part of him, and that is him. That's very true. That's a side of him that you all saw, and that's what he showed you. Mm -hmm. He was a little different when he shut the front door at the house. And when he went into being his private life, uh, that was another being. I must say that I, uh, I, I, I didn't become involved with that. The only thing that suffered for it was, uh, uh, with his fame was the four boys because he never had time to take care of them. Two guys in white uniforms standing outside the door. It was horrible. Something um, that is, I would say has been a permanent scar and a disability to my life. And he and Kathy were married, but not quite that solid. I myself don't have a great deal of respect for Kathy. God, she tried to sell my mother's Bible, sold his PGA card, his pipes. I think that when he married Dixie Lee was a really the turning point in his career. She was a wonderful woman. He knelt down at her bedside and he put on that little gold band that he had married her with so many years ago and started to cry and said out loud in a voice that everyone else in the room could hear, why didn't I understand? Why didn't I understand? Right after the thing, Bing threw himself into my arms, which was something else, you know, because he was never, he was cool. And he'd have fun with you and laugh with you, but I never saw that kind of tenderness in the guy and that kind of emotion with the fellow. And it shocked me a little, but I thought it was just, just, just sensational. He was larger than life. He still is larger than life. He was just a very special fellow. The gentleman that's going to come up and perform with us now is a songwriter. Thank you. A musician, a vocalist, and a storyteller. 
Chris Crosby. Chris. Thank you. It had to be you. Oh, yeah. Wonderful you. I wandered around, finally found somebody. Who 